Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today is going to be a very quick tutorial of sharing some tips and tricks on modeling inside 3ds Max and how you can save a lot of time. Before starting the video, I just wanted to make a quick announcement about something that I've been developing and working for the last couple of months. CGScan is a platform where you can find 3D models, materials, tools and tutorials for digital artists. Everything is under one subscription with unlimited use and download. Also, we have a forum where you can vote for the new content. So the first thing that I wanted to give you some tips is about some of the new updates on the recent versions of 3D Studio Max. If we have a cube like the one that I have over here in my scene and we select, let's say, one of the polygons, before, if you remember, we hold shift and if we extend it to any of the axes, this is going to create a clone. This is something which is not available anymore, but instead if we move on some of the axes, this polygon, we are going to either cut inside into the geometry or we can as well extend it. It works similar to extrude. This is a great thing because this means that you can easily create shapes that you would like to do without the need of after that bridging and creating some very complicated actions and it works very fast. So for example, if I select those four corners and then pull them down, you can see that very fast we created a little bit more complicated shape than the initial box. I would like you to notice a few things that this workflow is very nice and it's very clean for your geometry. First is these parts over here where you see that there are some vertices. 3D Studio Max automatically collapses. them. So if I just select them like this, you will see that it says vertex 26 selected, which means that here is only one vertex. If I move it around, even if I just click and select it like this, and you will see that there is just one vertex. So everything is collapsed and here the geometry is correct. You might say, okay, the geometry there is correct, but over here you created some angles, which as you know, for game development, it's something which is not very pleasant and we should avoid. So how we can avoid this? I would say that the simplest way is going to be by planning a little bit ahead exactly what we want to do with our actions and with extruding inside or extruding outside of the geometry. So I'll just go Ctrl Z and go a little bit back before I did this extrusion. And now before extruding, I'm going to select edge and I'll create one loop over here. After that, we are going to select the same polygons. Then I'm going to turn on my snap tool. We can do it either from the top over here or by clicking the S button. We need to make sure that we have the snap for vertices. This is something that we can change by right clicking on the snap tool and have the vertices enabled. And once we have everything, then we can hold shift and I can move and snap my geometry to the cut that we just did. This way 3D Studio Max will understand what we want to do. And now you can see that we don't have these angles and as well, it automatically collapsed all the vertices over here. So we have perfectly fine and good geometry. Now let's go to the second tip I wanted to give you today for speeding up and simplifying a little bit your modeling. In my scene here, I have a sphere. So first I'm going to get this asset and I'm going to place it on the sphere. For this, I'm going to use the tool which is select and place. So we can just select it, drag it and place it on the surface of the sphere using this tool. Now, if I would like to make more modifications and model a little bit more on this asset, it's going to be very hard to model some of the parts to be on exact measurements. So instead of doing something like this, and then if you need to make some modifications, wondering how exactly to make it perfect, what you can do is I'll just go back with Ctrl and Z. So I'm going to clone it. make it as an instance. Then we are going to place the instance over here. And in this case, if I would like to make any kind of modifications on this asset, and for example, we can even create more versions of it. Again, all of them are going to be instances. So if I want to make modifications, which are going to be on some exact parameters, I can still keep the original asset in the center of the scene. And we can come over here select the parts that we would like to extend or extrude or change in a way. And after that, we can just click extrude, make it to the correct number that we would like. And after we can, for example, move it downwards or upwards, or we can do any other modifications. Even if we would like, we can move it 
this side and you can see that all the changes and everything which I'm doing on the asset which is in the middle of the scene and it's very easy manageable is being translated to the instances. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that those tips are going to speed up your modeling process. Check the CG Scan page and see you next time.